okay, it's early in the morning, about nine o'clock. And as you can see, I'm outside wearing my swords. Well, one of them. Um, and um, I'm making this video because God gave me a dream this morning that um, I would like to share with you guys. Um, as many of you already know, I've been making videos um, for about, well, going on 10 years. Um, and for 10 years, the Lord has been showing me war. In my mind, I have thought of ways to prepare. Um, what I mean by that is I have thought of ways to defend myself and defend my family. But with what's coming, there will be no way I can defend my family or myself. The dream that I had this morning was so disturbing, you guys. I I couldn't even go back to sleep. The dream starts out with um, my family and myself in the car driving around. And while we're driving, um, we turn on the street and we start to see a lot of Black Lives Matter people who all were white burning buildings. They burnt every building they saw, every building. And after they were burned, the buildings they would kiss each other. I kept driving and I came to another intersection and um, I heard a noise and we looked in the sky from the car window and um, we saw men dropping from the sky with parachutes on. Then I pulled to another intersection and I stopped at that intersection. And that's when I woke up. The kiss that they gave each other uh, symbolizes the kiss, the kiss of Judas. Um, they're going to betray their own people. Um, and the intersection that I stopped at was um, a choice that I would have to make concerning my own life. Which way do I go? If you don't know, war is coming to America and there will be a great loss of life. Our enemies are preparing to attack us as, we, as I speak to you. And um, I'm making this video to let you know your options. Um, you guys, I remember at a point in time walking around with swords. <laughs> Somebody probably called the police. There's a crazy person out here with swords. But these last couple of months... <laughs> Just know to expect anything. A person can walk in a store with a mask on and it's okay. Looking like they're about to rob the place.
Some people will have the heart and the mind to fight for their families, to fight for their lives. Some people will be captured. And some people will live until the end. Um, we all have our destinies that are set. And you guys, this net last nine years, I have been preparing my mind mentally for this. Um, I have been preparing my mind uh, for destruction, for things that my mind cannot imagine. Um, but I, I could tell you now, nine years, ten years is not enough to prepare my mind for what is about to happen on our soil. Um, a lot of us are deciding, should I go and buy guns? Should I go and um, go somewhere so I can protect my family? Well, we have to remember what the Lord told us. The first to try and save their lives will be the first to lose it. And if you live by the sword, you will die by the sword. Um, that's not who we are as people of God. We are peaceful people. We let the Lord fight our battles. And we let the Lord, we let the Lord show up for us. How you prepare is by fasting and praying and asking the Lord to fight with for you. This sword not going to do nothing for me but get me killed. So I have to be wise in my choices. And I have a family. I have a child. And um, I have to put my faith in the Lord because he can do way more than what I can do to sword. I ask you, everybody, my brothers and sisters in Christ, believing in the rapture and those that don't, put your faith in the Lord. Be a man of peace. Be a man of peace. I'm not saying don't run when you see the enemy. But what I'm saying is that we're not killers. And we will not glorify, glorify God in that way. For those that believe the Lord is going to do as he said he would. He's coming at a time when you will least expect, so be ready. We are surrounded by our enemies. It's time to head to your rooftops. It's time to go to the field and don't come out. Um, he's going to come. Now, there's some who don't believe that God is going to come. Well, I'm here to give you your options as well. Your options are to fight by the sword, to be captured, or to live until Christ returns. Live until Christ returns means you escape and you go to the wilderness and wait in the wilderness. The ones that's captured, you will be captured. And you will be killed. And the ones that fight with the sword, you will be killed. Not only will you be killed, you will break the commandments of the Lord.
because you killed because you you killed this time will be our greatest test of faith since we were born into the world glorify God in a righteous way glorify God in the way he expects you to with faith believing that he said he was going to do what he told us he would do so you guys see me with this sword on I'm going to take this sword off so y'all can see me take this sword off People of God don't need that. We don't need no swords. We don't need no guns. The Lord is our, su our, our swords. The Lord is our guns. God bless you guys. It's time to show up in your faith. It's time to fast and pray. It's time to be on guard. <laughs> 